If you're a Unity developer that's been looking at building a multiplayer game and got a little bit confused about what networking stack to use and what your options are, don't worry, you're not alone. It is confusing. And today I want to try to help alleviate or demystify some of that confusion. We're going to go over a couple of the different networking options. I'll talk about why you might want to use one versus the other and how to decide which one's right for you in your game. Before we get started though, if you're already using some networking system or you recommend a library already, drop a comment down below. I'm curious to see what everybody's using and what you're using it for. I've got a big list of networking libraries here, but I'm sure that I've missed some. There are probably some other cool options out there, and I want to know about all of them, and I'm sure everybody else watching does too. So let me and everyone else know, and we'll go check them out in the comments, and if you don't have one, you can always hit the thumbs up button. It helps a lot, and I really appreciate it. Let's get started with the first networking option, the one that I used to recommend and is now completely deprecated. I want to talk about it and just tell everybody not to use it. That's UNet. This was the old networking library provided by Unity. It used to be built in and then it slowly got kind of separated out and now it's kind of in limbo. It was deprecated years ago, going to be replaced with an ML API and an LL API and an HL API these different levels of APIs for networking, and those never really took off either. So the built-in options just kind of died. That's changing in a little bit. We'll talk about that in a moment. There is, however, an alternative. If you used UNet or you're looking at UNet and you thought maybe this was the perfect option, then there's Mirror. Mirror was built to replace UNet. Well, I think it was built to replace UNet. I'm not sure the actual reason it was built, but its general use has been that it's replaced UNet. For all of the people who wanted to use UNet or were using UNet when it got deprecated, they were able to switch over to Mirror, get some performance benefits, and have a very similar workflow. It allows you to send messages back and forth with RPCs, sync up variables, and do the basic multiplayer stuff that you would want to do. Now, UNet or Mirror aren't what I would consider optimal for a like esports type game. If it's something super competitive, this is probably not where you want to go. Instead, I'd use Mirror for more casual games, things where a really high tick rate isn't that important, where you're not worried about headshots and just fast paced competitiveness. Although when it comes to MMOs, it is a pretty good option. It scales up really well. And it's actually the system that they use in UMMORPG, which is this really popular MMO building system available on the Unity Asset Store. So if you want to build out an MMO, then Mirror might be a good option for you. And UMMORPG might be a nice, good, quick shortcut to just get you there without having to go through the low level systems building. Now, if you're building a competitive game or you really want to see Unity's new networking stuff, hang on for a second, because we're going to talk about those in just a moment. But first, I want to introduce you to a different type of networking option that you may not have considered or may not have thought about, depending on your project type. And that actually comes from this video sponsor, Stream which makes it easy to build in multiplayer chat to your game or application. They have their own scalable backend system so you don't have to worry about spiking player activity. They already handle billions of players concurrently right now. And they also have these nice moderation systems so you can find the bad people kick them out without having to build all of that yourself. Now, I think that Stream is one of the systems that is a little bit different from some of these other options. You might not have thought about it because you might be thinking, hey, I'm building a first person shooter. In that case, maybe it doesn't apply, but I can still see how it would. Because if you think about your cross game chat, your cross match chat, this is the kind of system that just does that for you. Most of the time, when you're building out your games, your multiplayer games, you have chat that's kind of built in, but it's usually for the room. It's like the players that are in that match right there can chat amongst each other, but that's it. Stream is a bigger scale system that makes it so that your players can have their friends lists, chat with their friends, invite friends. You do all of that kind of stuff alongside the game. So they can do that in the game. Or again, you could just build out an application that just uses the chat and social timeline type features that they make available. It's easy to use and really easy to integrate. And the best thing is it's completely free for all indie devs and startups. So I definitely recommend you go check it out by clicking the link in the description. Now let's talk about high speed games, high performance things where stuff is competitive and you really need that fast prediction, the really fast responses, and just really responsive network gameplay. 
what are the options there? Well, before there was Fusion, there was Bolt. And before there was Bolt, there was Pun. These are all parts of Photon's Unity setup, or Photon Unity Networking was Pun. But Photon was a company that built out multiple networking systems. Well, they built one, bought one, and then I believe they built the third one. Now, my recommendation here is that you definitely check out Photon's Fusion system. Pun was their old system. It was kind of like UNet. It was Okay, it was easy to use, it just kind of worked, but it wasn't super highly performant. Bolt was the next level on top of that where they started making things, I'd say, faster, better, although I didn't really dive into it. I had quite a few friends who used Bolt and swore by it. If you used it and had some thoughts on it, I'm kind of curious too. But then they released Fusion, and Fusion is, from what I understand, their top of the line and one of the fastest networking options available. It allows you to do really fast, low latency messaging, good client side prediction, good server prediction, and it seems like it just works like Photon or like Pun. So it seems like one of the best options, although it isn't free. So if you're curious for a free option, we'll talk about some of those later, but Photon is a very good default option for me. It's something that I am going to be looking into personally. I'm gonna be trying to build out a game with Photon Fusion myself to see what that process is like, see what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and maybe the game will be fun. But I'm also curious, if you've used Photon's libraries in the past and maybe have some experience with Fusion, drop a comment down below and let us all know how that is and, and how it's been. Has it been as fast and performant as you expected and as easy to use as you expected? I, I wholly anticipate that it will be the default option. And right now it's the one that I am kind of pointing people to as a default, mostly just because of recommendations from friends and the rest of the community. What about Unity though? They must be working on some built-in or default option, right? Well, actually they are. Ever since they killed Unit, they've gone through a couple different revisions. I mentioned, I think earlier, they did a couple different APIs. None of them really took off. But now they're working on a new system, or there's a new system that's getting close to releasing. And I believe the last time I saw it, the name was Netcode for Game Objects. I believe there's a Netcode for Dots and a Netcode for Game Objects. But Netcode for Game Objects, from what I understand, is actually coming sometime relatively soon. We should be getting some announcements and news about that. I expect it to be high performant, just like Photon Fusion, and allow me to do all of those cool things plus matchmaking and other interesting stuff, but I'm not completely sure what to expect yet. In fact, I have a talk coming up with the Unity people to find out if they can maybe present about this at Game Dev Guild and share some of the info that's coming out, maybe give you guys a sneak peek of what's coming from Unet, or not Unet, Netcode for Game Objects, and what, what to expect and how to get ready to start using that, see if that's an option for you. So if you're interested in that, make sure you check out Game Dev Guild, join us live in May, and you'll be able to ask them questions directly about it. I'm really curious, I'm interested, I wanna see what the default is for new Unity. Is it gonna be some new, super fast, easy to use, high performance thing? Or is it gonna be something that's more tailored to specific game types and I need to like use a starter pack for it or figure out exactly where we're gonna be? So again, if that's interesting to you, make sure you check out Game Dev Guild and I'll see you there. Now I want to share a free option that looks really exciting. This says it's a high performance networking library that looks like it's just amazingly easy to use. This looks like the kind of networking library that I would want to create if I were designing a networking library. It seems like you just do what you need to do. It automatically adjusts and handles things like serializing out all of your own types, writing all of the code for that, and it seems like it's optimized really well for performance. It's got client-side prediction and extrapolation. It looks, again, like an amazing option, but I haven't played with it myself. It's one of the few that I'm going to experiment with. This one and Fusion are right up at the top of my list. Now, if you've used this one, it looks like quite a few people have, drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought of Fishnet. Were there any downsides to it that I'm missing? Because when I read through the documentation, all I see are awesome upsides. I wonder like, is there something else that, that's just not there that I'm not seeing? If so, yeah, let me know. But if not, I definitely recommend you go try it out. I'll put a link down to the asset store so you can grab it for free if you want. And you can grab that 
from the description, I guess. After I found that fishnet one, I did a little bit more searching though to see what other maybe open source options existed for Unity networking because it's been a little while and I thought, hey, lots of brilliant people out there probably creating lots of cool things. Should go see what I can find. One other one that came up was this Dark Rift 2 library. It looks like it also supports a whole lot of functionality and features. The documentation I haven't gone through completely, but it looks like there's a lot there. So I don't know. I, this is one of the ones that I'm going to look a little bit further through the documentation and then see if I want to try this out. But if it's highly recommended from everybody, then I'd be curious at checking it out and really diving into it as well. So if you've tried Dark Rift and it's something that you think is worth trying, you think I should check it out, um, please let me know. It, like I said, it looks interesting. There are so many options out there. And, and on that topic, I want to go into the last two options that I could think of. One was the SmartFox server. This is one that I've used in the past briefly and then went away from for something completely different and then realized it's still around. Now, I don't use this personally, but it seems like it's still a big system that's still around and it's been around for as long as Photon, I think. So I assume that people are still using it and getting some success there. If you are, please let me know because I'm really curious to see like maybe this is something that I'm just oblivious to and I don't know that, hey, this is the biggest thing out there and everybody's using it. I don't think that's the case, but if it is, I want to know. And finally, I want to wrap it up with the last option or the last option that I know and is a possibility. This is one that I wouldn't necessarily recommend until you've gone through using these other options and found that they didn't work for what you wanted to do. And that is to roll your own system. You can write your own networking code, send your own TCP and UDP messages, deal with sockets directly and do all of that work but it's a lot of work. All of these libraries deal with that for you. They wrap that up into something that's manageable so you can focus on your game and not on the networking library. And if you're not really heavy into like, you're, you wanna be a networking person, you just really wanna write network code, you're not in that mindset, then I would definitely not recommend it because writing good network code is a skill. Writing bad network code is very easy. Whatever you write the first couple times is going to be bad. It's going to take years of revision and practice to get something where we would consider it to be good. And to get it to the point where you're competing with these other options, it's going to be probably a lifetime, realistically, depending on the person. I know a couple people who can code these systems. And as you can see, some of these open source systems are done by a single person. But nine out of 10 people are not going to be coding this. And the one out of 10, they really need to dedicate and focus on this. They need to have the networking system built around a game or something like that. So I wouldn't recommend it, but you can build your own. With that said, let me know what networking systems you're using. If you've got one that you highly recommend, please drop a comment down below. I want to know about it, and I think that everybody else would really appreciate it. And remember, if your game or application has any chat at all, make sure that you go check out the free Maker account from Stream by clicking the link in the description.